right, it's Sunday afternoon. I think I'm gonna dive into this wire in here a little bit and check and see if my batteries are charged up. And uh, ain't got much time for anything else. We thought of getting the 57 out and working on it. But by the time I get everything situated, it'll be dark probably, so. Right, Daisy? Right, Harley? Right? right? What are y'all chewing on over there? Eating a plastic bottle. That sounds like fun. I'm at a loss here what's going on with this thing, but I've got power on the input and the output on this relay holder with no relay in it and that should not be so I gotta figure out why that is which means I think I gotta I think it's in my fuse panel that's just not good alright I gotta figure it out this is driving me crazy this doesn't make for a very exciting video but I'm totally baffled if that makes y'all feel any better I still got power where it shouldn't have power and I can't understand it. Anyways, I've taken my fuse panel apart. There's nothing shorted out. But somehow I still got power with no relay. Let me take that holder off there and see what's up. Alright, with some deductive reasoning, I think I've narrowed it down to it's back feeding through here, which powers a uh, fuse terminal, fuse block down here. Well, it's not really a block, it's a power distribution block. What you working on there, bud? But those of you who are Ben moms and dads knows what he's working on. All right. I figured out my dilemma, kind of. I now have my ignition switch and accessory switch powering the relay like it's supposed to. But the trouble is, the trouble is, it's this wire, which I have noted in my notes as going to fuse 10. which is out here and this fuse panel is powered hot all the time by this lug See there, which goes to the starter solenoid so that was my problem but I can't figure out why I wired it that way I gotta do some more research I'm gonna have to do a little more research but I think that's the reason I did it. Fuse 10, I thought it had needed to go to the ignition switch for some reason. Why are you always licking me? And then, but you know, I can't understand why I need it. Start a relay. Maybe what we need to do is see if the thing will crank up yet the way it is. Alright, let me see about that. Well, I haven't cranked it up yet, but I did figure this out, which is what I suspected. You gotta... It didn't have a good ground. Horn blows pretty good. I'd say. It does. Alright, now let me see if it will crank up. Is it weighing neutral? Yeah. Yeah, we're in neutral. Let's turn that on. All fixed. All better. Alright, let's put this on. Hey, I'm making a video over here. I 
think I'm having a problem with my camera. It's not recording. Anyways, let's see if... I had it cranked up a couple times, but I don't think I got it. Anyways, here we go. See? Wait to start. The green's the glow plug. Turn the accessory on. I already checked to make sure it's in neutral. Can't wait to fill her up with fuel and take her on down the road. If I'd hurry up and order a water pump and fix that, oh, I probably should have tied that wire up before I crunk it up, huh? Luckily, no damage, no damage. And uh, put a water pump in it, fill it up with coolant. I can probably back it on out of the shop, which is what I ought to do. All right, I think I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and ring the bell. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to click subscribe. Go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy very cool stuff. Hats, apparel, shorts if you got a hot girlfriend. Or even if you don't, you can still buy them. And that's all, folks. See ya. Well, I couldn't really stand it. So I came back out here and did some more studying. Best I can tell, I don't need that Fuse 10 for anything. It says it's for starter relay, but it does not seem to affect that any. And obviously, the only thing the starter relay needs is big power in, which is all here. And something to tell it to start. And then that wire goes to the starter, which has another solenoid apparently on the starter, which is kind of redundant, isn't it? But that's all right. Redundancy is okay. So I think what I need to do is hook my little wire back up here and then just run my orange one, which needs to be power... on actually I ought to run it to the ignition on because this is accessory this would be accessory so I need to run that wire to switch ignition on because that will allow the fan to run when the ignition is on only you know a young man may need to have the accessory only switch on and be sitting listening to the radio with some some young gale you never know so I'm going to try to accommodate that. You don't want to have the noise of the fan interrupting the conversation. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, if any of y'all know whether or not I need Fuse 10, just chime right in. Because I don't think I'm going to finish it up tonight. And you might have time to tell me what's what. I guess there ain't no harm in seeing if that original 46 Ford horn blows, is there? You know, before I go in. All right, let's see what happens here. This is real, real, real butch. Nothing so far. We got power there, yup. Hey, watch what you're doing. Well, I guess it don't blow. Well, what are you gonna 